I want to start with you, Chloe. I mean, I know you took a year and a half out. And yeah. Everything else. How freeing was it to kind of step out of the Hollywood bubble to take on something that you were so passionate about? It was really, um, it was a beautiful experience. You know, I got to shoot a movie in 23 days. The last movie that I shot, we shot over four and a half months for over $50 million. None of us had a personal connection to anyone on the cast. We hardly knew our director, much less uh, the other actors on our set. So to go from that um, and my light within myself dwindling to reigniting that flame and working on a 23-day shoot, under a million dollars, living all together, having bonfires every Saturday night, which is our only night off on a six-day work house. week, it was it was invigorating. It was enlightening, and it was. It was a moment of looking in the mirror and finally finding my identity, which I felt like was fading very quickly, and that worried me. I want to come to you. I mean, when I saw this movie, I saw this movie a couple of months ago now, the Sundance London, had echoes of John Hughes, who's very close to my heart. I mean, was, was his movie Speaking Breakfast yes. for having 16 Candles? All of it was Blue relevant. Breakfast. All of it was stuff we sourced and, and was, we're looking at. We looked at Lynn Ramsey's Morven Collar as well, and uh, Todd Haynes' is Safe. But yeah, to me, it was like a teen movie in the vein of the best teen movies. And I felt like it had been decades since I'd seen something that spoke honestly to the ugliness and the hilarity of being a teenager that wasn't trying to please the most, like, and tick the most people or tick the most pretty, boxes yeah. and wasn't trying to be inoffensive. I, I wanted to go there and to make a film that felt as messy and sexy and angsty and pathetic as what it actually felt like to be a teenager. Uh, I mean, Sundance is such a great platform for, for these kind of movies, and some yeah. of them don't get released in this country and overseas, yeah. and there's a couple of movies, you know, films like this, and Sorry to Bother You, I know that's not getting distribution because of what it is. Are you delighted that people are going to actually see this in the cinemas and take so much from, from the movie? So thrilled. So thrilled. And our best release this year. Um, I'm, I smile when you say Sorry to Bother Me is such a great film, and it is getting is so well-loved in the States and was given such a beautiful release. And it really says a lot about race in... U Europe and UK where they feel they can't sell here um, but weirdly enough this film has gotten a lot of love here more love and more understanding about female sexuality th in the UK than I've known back home in America it's testament to Desi and to Chilia's writing Desi in particular because she does most of the dialogue is that this movie can be so quiet funny. it can be so quiet at times Either way, it can be so quiet. You kept it though, so you can be can be so quiet at times, but it's so poignant when it needs to be, and that's how life is. You never expect those poignant moments to happen, but they happen in 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 moments when when you know you just say one sentence and it sums up the exact feeling in which you're, you know, the world in which you are. And the, the film is very much um, obviously about adolescents and finding themselves and and being inhibited. So as a director, how did you direct your um, your actors to at least give them some freedom, freedom to express themselves. I got out of their way. <laughs> I feel like really I created nice. a nurturing environment where they could bring themselves to the table, where they could take risks, where they knew their crew intimately and they knew me intimately. Right. And you take the temperature as a director. Some actors need support and hand holding. Some people didn't, do not want that and feel stifled by it. And the first week is always the trickiest one because you're kind of feeling like, all right, what does each person need? So my job is to take the temperature constantly and like a good parent kind of feel out, all right, what's needed, what's not needed. And with Chloe, she came prepared and was ready to express herself. And a lot of this work is her. There's, she brought herself to the table, she brought a character to the table, and especially when it came to the sex scenes, she was very much in charge and very much had her own point of view there. And I was really proud and excited to be a part of that. Fantastic, it's a wonderful film. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!